Hello guys, happy Madaraka Day. Today we are going to be discussing safety but from a slightly different angle. Part of our, our endeavor at Simba Safe Kenya is to educate Kenyans on the aspects of child safety and we do it through many ways. For example, I also have a blog at simbasafekenya.com where I write information about safety. And in the last two weeks there was a post about twins, yes, T W E. E N S twins and there was a lot of uh, some discussion generated from there about who is a twin. So today we are going to be talking about twins in relation to mobile phone safety. My name is Mariana Muniendo and you're watching Simba Safe Kenya. Welcome. In the blog post it was titled Is your twin ready for a cell phone? So today I'd like to clarify who a twin is. A twin is a child between the ages of 9 to 12. Not yet a teenager, but still a child, so they are somewhat somewhere in the middle. And twins are amazing. They can be sometimes a challenge to parent because they want to grow up, but they still act like kids. So sometimes we may do something to try and show they are adults, but their origin of thinking is very childish. It comes from a child's point of view. In this era of technology, mobile phones have become a source of peer-to-peer -peer interaction. So our twins are also getting closer to their peers using their mobile phones. So a lot of influence comes from circles created using technology or mobile phones. Um, according to a twin.com survey in the year 2009, uh, the average age that a child should get a cell phone was pegged at 11. But I'm sure if we go back to statistics and look at it today, seven years later, the age will have gone further down. Due to societal acceptance, the age that a child gets their first cell phone is slowly going down. For instance, my nephew is two years old and he has a clear differentiation between a touch screen phone and a phone with buttons. So. That says a lot for the ones who are slightly older and the level of interaction they have using mobile phone devices. So a discussion on exactly when your child would be ready for a mobile phone or a cell phone is a bit uh, different in terms of there's a lot of factors and variables based on if the child is in an urban setting, a rural setting, the school, the kind of exposure they have or a special circumstance that you need to have observed in order to give your child a cell phone. I've highlighted most of that in the blog post. Feel free to visit and read more. But today, technology is here with us. Instead of fighting technology, and having it separate from our children so that they do not know how to engage with it responsibly, I think it's time we got onto the bandwagon and started inculcating in them a culture of using mobile phones and other technological devices for their own good and in a safe manner. So a few tips on how to be able to look at um, safety for your child and how they use their mobile phone device. Number one, set rules, usage type. There should be mobile time and no mobile time. A lot of times you see parents in a shopping mall on a Sunday, it's lunch time, everyone is having lunch at KFC, but the children are not eating. They are busy on their cell phones looking down. And sometimes parents are also guilty of this. Number two, set also clear rules of if this cell phone is allowed to go to school or not go to school, because a lot of the times they try to sometimes show off within their circle of networks and exchange information. Then you find most of the time, the number one issue in discipline, sometimes you're called to school and you told your child carried the phone to school and they were not supposed to carry it to school. Number three, etiquette. They should just know how to be able to use the phone in a responsible manner, a polite manner, be good e-citizen or telephone citizen, so to speak. So things like how to answer your phone, how to text people, and why you should not text rude tests or bully other people or insult other people on the phone is also important. Lastly, just be the parent. It's not a time to be a friend with your child. If they have the mobile phone device, there should be 
actions and consequences. If I own this phone and I break the rules that my parents have set for me, then I may not deserve to own the phone. So sometimes the phone can be taken away from me. That way they will learn that for everything that they acquire, there's a sense of responsibility and good use to it. We at Simba Safe Kenya are always more than happy to receive your comments, questions and queries with regard to your children's safety. And so keep asking, keep talking to us. If you want more information on this topic, visit our blog simbasafekenya.com and also join us on our social media pages to get the conversation going. My name is Mariana Munyendo and this is Simba Safe Kenya. Remember, safety is as simple as A, B, C. Always be careful.